What's going on everybody? My name is Alula and we're back with another video. Today is all about the eggs week three NFL picks. Um, right now, my friend uh, recommended that I should leave the records in the description. Also say in the beginning of the video, right now we're two, uh, four and six. We went two and three week one and week two. A lot of bullshit on my picks. Like I, I really just don't understand, but we're not going to stop. If we go negative again this week, I got to do something special for you guys because that's just me going negative three weeks in a row. I don't think that happened at all last season. So we got to get this fixed, sorted. So let's jump straight into it. We're not going to waste time. Happy Sunday to everybody watching. All right. Pick number one. I'm going Colts. I'm doing it again. Minus one, minus one and a half some places. Listen, if we can't beat the Bears, our season's over. And as somebody who is a huge believer in the Colts and Shane Steichen and what we do, especially at home, you know, if we lose this game, I'm going to lose a lot of faith. And I, I'm going to definitely, the season's going to be over if we lose this game. We can't start 0-3. We're not coming back from that. We're not built to come back from that. So, you know, and the Bears, you know, the Bears' run defense isn't that good. Now, their pass defense, pass coverage is amazing, but their run defense isn't that good. Their run offense is bad. Their offense in general has been bad. Now, of course, just watch Caleb Williams start dotting, you know, dotting us up just because we're like one of the worst defenses in football, it looks like, especially with the injuries to a couple of our key pieces, Lyle Tulatu, DeForest Buckner, Juju Brents, so on and so forth. But um, at home, Shane Steichen's really good. Last season, we scored a lot of points, damn near all of our home games, it felt like. So I feel like we'll be able to get the job done and, you know, beat the gotta beat the Bears. Come on. If we don't beat the Bears, I mean, oof, we're going to have to make a video. So hopefully we beat the Bears. Next, I like Lions minus three at Arizona. This is actually probably my favorite pick of the week. Um, Lions off a of bounce back, bad loss to Tampa. You know, they're playing in a dome, which is good for Jared Goff. Uh, the Arizona defense is not going to be able to limit the playmakers on the outside for the Lions. And I do think that the Lions pass rush is going to give Kyler and that offense some, some issues. So, you know, I'll keep it short. I like Lions minus three a lot. It's easily my favorite play. To my second favorite play, Ravens minus one at Dallas. This one feels obvious to me. I know it's a really 50-50 game for a lot of people and for the wise guys or the betting experts or however you want to say these guys, are they don't know what to make of this game. Now, me, I know Lamar. We all know Lamar is 20-1 and one in the, against the NFC. We know that Lamar, I don't think he's ever lost three regular season games in a row. I mean, I might have to fact check that, but he always has a pretty good to great record in the regular season. So, you know, especially Lamar Jackson starting 0-3. I mean, the Ravens, I mean, blowing that game to the Raiders is embarrassing, but they look formidable against the Chiefs week one. Let's just remember. The Cowboys have been embarrassed their last two home games. I don't think they're going to be able to stop Lamar on the ground or through the air. Um, and I think Derrick Henry is going to have a solid game. So I think Ravens minus one is a good play. And it's my second favorite of the week. My fourth egg is Seahawks minus four and a half. They are at home facing the Miami Dolphins, there's a couple factors um, for this game. Specifically, what I like is the travel. Miami to Seattle, that's about as far as it gets. <laughs> and there's nothing further than Miami and Seattle when it comes to NFL games, unless you're going to London or Brazil, right? Okay, Miami just lost their starting quarterback, as we all know, and we all saw a week ago on Thursday Night Football against the Bills. You know, Skylar Thompson against this Seattle defense is not doing a damn thing. Unless Mike McDaniel is really a genius, there's no reason Miami should be moving the ball whatsoever. You know, scoring more than 10 points would shock me. For this line to be at four and a half, I mean, I don't know what kind of fishy business is going on. That's why it's not one of my two favorite picks, but it just feels like, like, why would Skylar Thompson go to Seattle and perform well enough to where Seattle, you know, can't win by five or more. It just doesn't make sense. You know, and the Miami's defense is all over the place. Seattle's offense is pretty good. They got, you know, DK, Lockett, Jigba. You know what I mean? They can run the ball. They can do a lot of things that we like. Geno Smith, look, I, I'm not a big fan of the guy. 
We can't lie. He's been accurate. He's completing 68% of his passes. He does really well for the Seahawks. Now, I don't think he's the type of guy that can lead you to a Super Bowl. But I think we can all agree, Geno Smith, he does a lot of really good things. So, for all those reasons, I think Seahawks minus four and a half is a good play. It's a little nasty, you know, Vegas sprinkled something on there. Something's not right, but we'll take we'll take Seahawks minus four and a half. And last but not least, I'm taking all favorites this week. I know, pretty dumb, but I just like all of them too much. What can I say? Um, Bengals. I'm giving them another chance. Minus seven and a half. They are um, they are at home Monday Night Football against the Commanders. The Commanders, Jaden Daniels, and them. They don't look like that good of a team. I think the Bengals played really well last week. They lost. You know, hopefully this isn't a repeat of Week One. They need to come out focused. I think they will from the get go. He'll get Jamar Chase going. T Higgins is back in practice. To me, this is a good spot for the Bengals, and I think they cover. So. To go through the picks one more time, we got Colts minus one, we have Lions minus three, we have Ravens minus one, we have Seahawks minus four and a half, and we have Bengals minus seven and a half. Those are the eggs. Hopefully, we have a five and a week. I'm, we gotta win at least four of these. I mean, I cannot believe how poorly we have started. It's just, it's an anomaly. We'll be fine. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you have a great NFL Sunday. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.